My name is Higgs and this is my friend Bo Zahn. Welcome to the Higgs world. Thanks for the introduction Higgs. In this presentation, our goal is to offer you a quick summary of the research and conclusions. We follow inquiry-based learning model where students take lead in learning. First, they get a quick review of the research via the videos. Second, they review the paper to learn and understand key concepts. Finally, they can follow up with further research on their own to dig deeper. In the end students would have learned something new, latest and relevant. Isn't that wonderful Boson? Great point Higgs. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. We want to thank all the authors and publishers for making this research public, thereby advancing science and innovation. Please like, share and subscribe. Today, we are reviewing research paper titled, The 2019 Eruptive Activity at Stromboli Volcano. A multidisciplinary approach to reveal hidden features of the, unexpected, the 3rd of July paroxysm. The Stromboli volcano activity is characterized by continuous degassing, accompanied with explosive transients of variable intensity. Different eruptive vents can be the source of the explosions and they often change in shape and number. Occasionally, more violent explosions named, Strombolian paroxysms, interrupt its ordinary activity, causing considerable apprehension among those living in the villages, located at the base of the subburial part of the volcano. That's interesting Higgs. In July and August of 2019, Stromboli volcano underwent two dangerous paroxysms previously considered unexpected, because of the absence of significant changes in usually monitored parameters. The researchers applied a multidisciplinary approach to search for signals, able to indicate the possibility of larger explosive activity and to devise a model to explain the observed variations. Yes, that is so intriguing Boson. The researchers analyzed geodetic, satellite thermal and seismic data, along with images from remote cameras. This was done in a time span crossing the eruptive period of 2019 to identify precursors of the two paroxysms on a medium and short term. The researchers developed a model that explains these observations. Wow! Higgs, there is so much to learn about volcanic activity. The researchers, called the model, Push and Go, where the uppermost feeding system of Stromboli is made up of a lower section, occupied by a low viscosity, low density magma that is largely composed of gases, and a shallower section occupied by the accumulated melt. To summarize, although an impressive number of monitoring devices have been installed for many years on the island, such a paroxysm occurred without any meaningful variation of the geophysical parameters used for the evaluation of the activity of the volcano. Volcanic tremor, number of very long period events, ground deformations and earthquakes all showed small unclear variations. Wonderful Higgs. Small variations observed in the geophysical signals recorded in Stromboli could be related to two factors. One, the small quantities of volcanic fluids involved in Stromboli, and second, the role of gas in their evolution. The research concludes that the paroxysms are triggered when an overpressure in the lower section is built up. The explosion will occur at the very moment such overpressure overcomes the confining pressure of the highly viscous magma above it. Wow! That is amazing Boson. Going forward, following actions are being proposed to monitor the activity. 1. Continuous and automatic evaluation of the cumulative dispersion. Mere observation of the number of explosions occurring from the Stromboli craters, is not sufficient, and a proxy of the energy involved in the explosive activity is necessary. Second, the transition from one very long period family to another, or the superposition of several seismic very long period families, can be an indicator of changes in the fluid properties. Finally, small variations in long or medium term of tilt and global navigation satellite system time series, coupled with thermal observations from satellite, must also be considered as a complementary data, 